this video we are going to learn one more interesting method for solving quadratic equations or finding for finding the roots of quadratic equation the method named completing the square method also it has a very good connection with a very well known or very popularly known as quadratic formula so we will explore that connection uh, towards the end of this video so let us start i will demonstrate this method through some examples. So let us first understand or revise what we have done in the earlier stage or in the earlier video. We have used a method of factoring. So that is uh, that I have called as old method. So let us take this example x square plus 10x minus 24. In the, if you use the method of factoring, you need to identify uh, what is this uh, term 24 and 1 so 24 minus 24 into 1 so minus 24 is the product of the uh, leading coefficient and the constant term and ad plus bc is 10 so i have this setup which is abcd is equal to 24 and ad plus bc is 10 so i will essentially use a prime factorization theorem and get the prime factors of minus 24 so that there the, the if you rearrange the prime factors in such a way that the sum should be equal to 10. One such rearrangement is 12 and minus 2. So AD is 12 and BC is minus 2. So I got this and then based on our factorization technique, I will substitute uh, this 12 and 2 for this coefficient of x and I will get this expression which is x square plus 12 x minus 2 x minus 24 then I will use the greatest common factor technique that is I will take out x common 2 common from the last two terms and I will get this expression. So uh, finally I got x plus 12 into x minus 2 is equal to 0 and therefore I will get the roots of the equation are minus 12 and 2. Now somebody came up and thought that why should I bother what is this last term? It's just a constant, right? So I will replace this constant with something and I will work on it. So th from that particular thought comes the new method, which is the method of completing the square. So what he, uh, what that person did is just write this, rewrite this expression into this form. That is x square plus 10x plus 24. Okay. Now the next question that person asked is, if I look at this x square plus 10x, do I know something that will make this particular expression as a complete square? So what do I mean by complete square? Let us let us understand. So complete square means x plus a the whole square. If I want to write x plus a the whole square, then wh what I need to do here is to add some number and subtract some number or to add this same number on both sides. Right. So in this case, if you look at this expression, that is x plus a square, which is x square plus 2ax plus a square. So this a is the number that I am looking for. Now in this case, if I consider this expression and if I want to add a number which will typically be a square, what that a square should be is the first question. So to answer that, let us equate this 10 to this 2a. So 10 is equal to 2a, therefore a is equal to 5 is the answer. So what will be a square? a square will be 5 square which is 25. So now I got a number a square to add and subtract from both sides. So what I will do is I will add the number 25 on both sides. So once I add the number 25 on both sides for this expression, I get x square plus 10x plus 25 which is equal to 24 which is which was already there plus 25 it turns out here in this case that the number is 49 which is also a perfect square but it, it need not be the case all the time so now what i know here is this number this particular expression is nothing but x plus 5 square from this formula the formula that is given here the express this this is nothing but x plus 5 square and then what is this this is 7 square so i can rewrite this expression as x plus 5 square is equal to 7 square wonderful so i got something in terms of squares now had it been 
uh, only one square then uh, and the situation was easy I would have equated to x plus 5 is equal to plus or minus 7 but there are two uh, there will be two situations because both the terms on the left hand side and on the right hand side are squares now you just write plus x plus 5 is equal to plus minus 7 and minus of x plus 5 is equal to plus minus 7 that will give us four cases but if you look at these two expressions they will eventually reduce to the same two expressions that is x plus y is equal to plus or minus 7 so it suffices to consider only two equations x plus y is equal to plus or minus 7 okay once i have considered this then i i know the solution right so it's just a matter of substituting the values and uh, doing some little bit of algebra so you take the uh, you subtract 5 from both sides so x is equal to minus 5 plus 7 which will give me 2 and x is equal to minus 5 minus 7 which will give me minus 12 these are the roots of the quadratic equation these exactly match with the roots that we have got minus 12 and 2 and here 2 and minus 12 so the solution set is same therefore now it is a personal choice which method to prefer but what is a choice that is available if you have some difficulty in factoring this let us say this is not 24 but some absurd number and you have some difficulty in factoring this finding prime factorization what you are doing here is you are not using this this particular property when you are doing this this example when you are solving this example through this method you are not using this particular property so you can get rid of this property and you don't have to worry about one note of caution is you cannot use this method when the number given here becomes negative in this side because square root of a negative number is not defined so after adding the this a if the number still remains negative you cannot use this method because according to this method there is no real solution whereas we don't know okay. so uh, this method has some limitations but it is quite powerful in solving the problems okay. we will come to the limit we will how we will come to how to overcome the limitations in a certain in the next few slides and we will see it, its beautiful connection with the quadratic formula